In this episode, a bird suspected of carrying the deadly avian influenza virus is detained. If the bird has bird flu, we will have to put it down. Tiny travellers find themselves stranded. They just started the electronic system today. And Changi's own army of agents are on the front line. I think she purposely missed her flight because she doesn't want to leave Singapore. This is Singapore. Where the old world meets new metropolis. At its heart is this, Changi Airport. Singapore's jewel in the crown. With unprecedented access, we go inside Changi, voted world's best airport, to find out what makes it tick. It's landing in right now. For passengers, it's an oasis of peace and calm. But for the 40,000 staff who keep it that way, emergency, emergency. it can be anything but. The airport's not functioning, so I'm sort of stranded. Can I see the visa? Yeah. It's a busy morning, like every morning, at the Changi Airport service counters. Room number nine, yeah. There's a hundred different questions <laughs> in a hundred different languages for Changi's frontline agents. I don't understand just a moment, huh? These men and women are the irrepressible face of Changi. Their job is to please. Bye! Pamper. It'll make you feel warm. And problem solve. Outside from December, so around the... This passenger has left a cake in the toilet. Which toilet did you uh, use? Before, before sign off. That's right before you go down, right? Yes, before. The one closest to the escalator going down is correct. What kind of cake? Ah, uh, this is tart cake. Agent Joms' problem is that the bag is unattended in transit. May I know what is the color, sir? Uh, white color. White color. Yes. Sir, just to explain to you, if, if, for example, we aren't able to see what is inside the bag, mm -hmm. what will happen is we would have to activate the police. OK, OK, it's fine. Oh, that's Today, the canine detection team are on the trail of something. Canine use dogs to combat the ever-present threat of terrorism and smuggling. They patrol the three terminals, and lost bags don't last long. Good work. Good job. The customer says he has left the bag in the toilet. I'm looking for a white bag, a hand, uh, shoulder bag that contains cakes inside. Joms is determined to leave no stone unturned. He needs to find it before the K9 team do. Although Faber's job is to bring criminals to justice, a bit of cake on the side wouldn't go amiss. Which toilet? I am here right now. I am here right now. Mail toilet. It's not in here. Like, I don't know if this is the bag that he's saying, but I don't know. It's a white bag. No, it's not. not. Anti-you stuff, is it? And oh, neither okay, okay. is this. Uh, and it will only be a matter of minutes before he's pipped at the post by someone with a better nose. Wait, 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 wait. But it looks like the dogged determination of this agent is about to pay off. Okay. Result, one white bag found in the arrival hall. After investigation and a thorough risk assessment to determine its level of threat, this cake can be handed back to its owner. All right, so we, this is like the cake inside there, yes, right? Thanks to Joms, this passenger gets to have his cake and eat it. Bye-bye, thank you. Thank you I'm happy now. He's a happy passenger. Bye-bye. It's not all happy endings at Changi Airport this morning. 
Have you eaten? This passenger has been in transit for over 36 hours. She has a problem, and Agent JR is trying to fix it. In Singapore, where do you live? She is saying she has no money to fly home. You don't have any money. What can we do with this? No money. He needs to call a Tamil-speaking colleague who he thinks might be able to help. Nisa, can you help me, please? Because I have this passenger, I don't understand her, basically. Mm -mm. Take water. Later, I'll let you buy food, okay? Changi Airport welcomes a thousand flights a day and over 50 million passengers a year. Its counters are crammed with cases of precious things lost. People lose a lot of things in Changi Airport. Cell phones, bags, iPads, iPods, um, uh, gadgets, rings, wedding rings, engagement rings. Children, they lost their kids. There was once we had a lost child in Terminal 3. We usually bring them into our counters so that they won't run away, and then he ended up puking on our chair. A lost child has found the customer service counter in Terminal 2 this morning. Don't cry, it's okay. Come, sit inside. This boy can't find his mum. He's being as brave as he possibly can, but it's proving tough. Don't cry, it's okay. You want water? No? Sweet? Nina's first job is to find out some basic information. How to spell your name? T-U-N-G, T-O-N-G. T-O-N-G. Only T-O-N-G? <laughs> Tong will have to hold his nerve while Changi's agents start searching. <laughs> There are families everywhere, but not, it seems, the mother of one Vietnamese eight-year-old boy. The search is on, but this mum is a needle in a haystack. Then, a passenger delivers crucial information. She's been in the orchid garden 20 meters away all along. Uh, yeah, according to the passenger, his mom is there. They were just at our counter getting the Wi-Fi password. He was still there. I think the mom walked off. He didn't know where his mom was, so he started to panic. Don't cry. It's okay. Reunited once more, Tong's lost mother isn't quite sure yet what has taken place. But all's well that ends well on Nina's watch this morning. <laughs> At Changi Airport's animal and plant quarantine station, it's a busy day. This is where all four-legged departures and arrivals are checked for diseases by a team of dedicated vets and trained officers. Easier to examine her on here. Their job is to protect Singapore's borders. Most pets receive a full bill of health. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> But not Tweety. Hi, baby. Hi. A macaw who has yeah. travelled far. Do you want some water? He's had a long journey here. It's a 22-hour flight from New York. He had a 10-hour transit in Frankfurt. And before that, he was in the airport checking in with uh, the US Fish and Wildlife for like eight, eight hours. So he's been traveling for a long time. This bird is a little bit of a special case. It transited through Germany, which is a country that is affected with bird flu. So because of this, we can't release the bird straight away after the inspection. We need to detain the bird here until it has been tested negative for bird flu again.
Bird flu is highly contagious, so in an airport environment, if for some reason the staff there were not sure and um, put the bird together with other birds, there might be a chance of exposure. Singapore is free from avian influenza, but if there were an outbreak, it would have serious implications. So if Tweety tests positive, he won't be coming home. If the bird has bird flu, we will have to put it down. With 40,000 staff and a reputation to maintain at Changi, every day is training day. Front of house, agents turn on the charm. A lot of ampao. <laughs> Behind the scenes, trainees are also put through their paces. Sats, as always, are on the tarmac. Changi handles a thousand flights a day. Each one gets pushed onto the taxiway for takeoff. Today, Sats have a new trainee. This is Kevin. He's a pushback virgin and he has to get a Boeing 787 into position with a tractor. Check. My first time push. But it looks like this plane isn't going anywhere. Behind the GPU, you know, the electrical for the aircraft is not working anymore. So it has to run on the ground power that's down here. To start up the aircraft engine, we need another ground power to start up the engine. It's electrical to start up, it's like a, to start up a car. A jump start is the same thing. Where's the engineer? Kevin will have to push a 300 ton plane with the engines running as soon as the jump start kicks in. There'll be a lot of force pushing and pulling of the pushback equipment. So it will be worse than a normal pushback. The stress will be very high on him. All right, so now you know the engine is start up. We're going to start this one, so be careful, go slowly, follow the line and follow my instruction. When to turn, all right? OK, good. All right, good. Great. Yeah. This will not be any fun, at least not for Kevin. He's been training for three weeks to reach this point. OK, go forward slowly, yeah? Straighten the aircraft. If he passes the test, he'll be a fully paid up member of Pushback Club. Start, start more. A bit more. Okay, straight, straight up, straight up. Straight up, straight up. Straight. Straight, straight. Kevin is pushing back a $350 million plane for the first time with the engine running. His tow bar is steering 247 tons while he braces the full on blast. Slow down. Make sure to roll. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Today, Kevin has worked the ramp and passed the test. Not bad for a beginner. In another remote corner of Changi, the hardest training yet is underway. These are Singapore Airlines trainees, and this is grooming class. Do you think this is a bit over the top, measuring the buns? No. On graduation day, if I see this, I'll get very upset. Today, each girl will present herself to Amy and be judged on makeup, nails, and hair. Because my ear is sticking out, so. I was asked to cut it to cover my ear. Shemaine is afraid her bun will meet with the same fate. My face is quite round, so I'm afraid that she asked me to cut my hair. What eyeshadow are you using? Okay, so nails, did you paint them yourself? Yes, I did. Okay, this part here, you need to paint. It's chipping off, and there's gaps. Okay? The gap for what? For me to fill in? <laughs> huh? No gaps, okay? Yes. So, check the back of your hair. Turn around, dear. Okay, good. Okay, I see a little bit of pins. Be very careful. But overall, good effort, okay? Thank you. Okay, you have improved since... improved a lot since the last time. 
I'm happy to keep my hair. I've never tried having short hair before, so... When I first turned up, um, there are very ordinary people, um, plain Jane girls. But after the training program, you can see that they're a little bit more polished, um, more sophisticated. Thank you. Even myself, I get surprised. Yeah, so you can really see a great transformation from ordinary people to cabin crew. Mus is Terminal 3's ever-present duty shift supervisor, heading up a jolly team of pre-board security screeners. Changi Airport is home to some of the tightest and most efficient security in the world. Its secret weapon, men and women who man the gates, scan people and baggage, and move passengers from gate to getaway in minutes. They are Certis Security, and it's Mus's job to make sure they are the last word in customer security service. Waiting to spot on any mistake that is being seen by any of my officers over here. What's that? It kind of harsh, but then uh, it's my job to do that. Mm. One time, the passenger trying to give me a punch because I throw, I'm throwing away his perfume. Uh, which he say is cost him quite a lot of money, but then I managed to actually uh, cool him down uh, after talking to him for quite some time, and he unwillingly accept the decision for me. On the Singapore Airlines flight to Sydney, no one is punching anyone, but there are still some unacceptable liquids. Straight from the cruise ship. Two bandits are caught smuggling a souvenir from the ship's captain. It's a bottle of wine from, yes. from the captain. Jumping. Okay, so I'm sorry, ma'am. This without a seal bag, you can't bring it in. It's more than 100 ml. Oh, okay. Fair I'm enough. sorry about that. No, that's all right. Can I just have the bag? Okay, so I got to discount it. Okay, can I have the bag? That's fine. Lovely champagne given to us by the captain of Sapphire Princess. <laughs> it's such a waste. But, yeah, they say rules are rules. <laughs> this man wants to deliver a parcel to a cousin in transit because of an emergency. Actually, uh, my mom suffered a heart attack and then there was some complication after the, after the procedure. And now uh, I want to consult some doctors in India, so I want to pass some reports, reports to, to somebody who's traveling to India via Singapore. But he has to convince Agent Mido. All right, and she suffered a heart attack and is not fit to travel for one month. And actually after the operation, right, there's some complication. He has brought hard copies of his mother's medical information to be carried. CDs actually. Two yes, CDs. CDs. Yeah. Or hard, hard, hard copies. Yeah. Mido needs to decide how to handle this situation. It's an unusual request. It's a security matter, but it's also a special case. Actually, for security reasons, items are not allowed to be transferred from public to transit area or from transit to public area. However, when there's a serious situation or a sensitive situation like this, we seek the exception from the duty terminal manager and our management. I thought this would be faster. I knew just this morning that he's traveling. So if I can catch up this, this it will be like in person, somebody taking it over. The decision the airport now makes right. could help save her life. Hello, Swan, me to hear. Yeah. Great, so I've got the approval. The airport authorities are allowing the emergency medical files to be checked and delivered to the passenger in transit. So we have got the approval. This man's mother is in a critical condition. Now he can get a second opinion from their family doctor in India quickly. The gate is closing in minutes, but Mido has just enough time to find the passenger in transit and deliver this precious cargo. You will just need, please, your passport to photocopy and your signature here. JR is dealing with a difficult case in the airport today. A distressed woman is in transit 
but has no money. He has discovered she had a flight, but did not get on it. Purposely, you don't want to go home. You want to stay here. His Tamil-speaking colleague is finally able to establish the situation. The passenger has been dismissed by her employer and can't stay in Singapore. She is supposed to go to Chennai. She has missed two flights already. I just need to get the flight number of this lady, the one she missed last night from going to Chennai. I think um, her boarding pass is there. Can I just have the flight number? Actually, I don't understand her, but I think she purposely missed her flight because she doesn't want to leave Singapore. She's a maid, and then she was sent to the airport directly by the boss. JR has been able to negotiate with the airline. In certain circumstances, airlines will offer a new flight for a small rebooking fee. She's going to pay for no-show fee only because Tiger was so nice to her because she doesn't have money. Lady. Yes. This is how much she's holding. She has 2,200 rupees. It's only um, around $47, Singapore dollars. Still not enough. I'll call her. I'll call her employer. With just $47, this passenger cannot stay in transit indefinitely. She's not picking up. She no longer has a home or a job in Singapore. At the heart of Southeast Asia, Changi Airport is a hub for all kinds of folk. You're just giving them a quick squirt. <laughs> and there's not much that phases Changi's intrepid agents. Where there are passengers, there are sometimes problems. It won't happen again. I won't go for that again. Now it's Agent Paul's turn to have a situation. Madam, ma'am, are you all right? Madam, ma'am, madam, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm not sure what condition is. What condition is? I think that's fast asleep. I didn't get a lady to wake her up. Madam. Hi, madam. Hello. Without making physical contact, madam. Paul isn't able to wake this sleeping beauty. Madam. But a madam. female colleague might. Wendy, Wendy. Emergency, emergency. Go and check the pulse of the lady. Hold the pulse. She didn't respond. We tried to call her. She didn't respond. She had any pulse? First up, check if the passenger is still alive. Huh? Yeah. Dog pounds, huh? Yeah, yeah I, I got CS. You call MG already? No, we, no we, I'm conscious. Eh? She's maybe sleeping. She, I, I never I call I call some uh, supervisor first. Okay. I let her know first. She has a pulse. Paul and Agent Wendy believe that this young woman has passed out. Hey, uh, we are at Terminal 1 here. There's a case of a lady, and she's fast asleep, and she's not responding to uh, calling. The pass was taken, it's the was breathing, so we need you to um, advise us what next connection you want to do. Terminal 1, opposite row number 6, at door number 2. OK, sure, sure, I'll do, I'll, I'll do it then. First is to get her out from this stage, and then from there, I will move on. You give me a minute, I call my supervisor. I'm going to take a shot of her and send it to my supervisors. All they can do is stay with her in case she comes around. I'm going to get a wheelchair and try to lift up to the wheelchair. I'll be back. Suddenly, Agent Wendy manages to wake her up. She's confused but conscious. Wendy, need a wheelchair? She had came about and she managed to move on to the um, rest area and she sort of recovered for a while and she claims she's all right, although we know that she's not quite. So she insisted that she can uh, to be left alone. JR is still dealing with a maid who does not have enough money to fly home 
and has been in the airport for almost two days. Hello? Hey, good morning. Jerry here from Changi Airport. We have a situation here. I think your maid, she missed her flight last night. She didn't take the flight. Actually, we checked the, the money she has, the rupees. Um, converted to Singapore dollars is only $40 plus, so it's not enough. Now she's very helpless, and I think she really wants to go home, based from what I can see and based from the conversation I had with her also. I can ensure that she's going um, to the flight. Are you willing to cash out the $70 for her with Tiger? Okay. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye-bye. It's just a small amount, you know. It's turned out to be this big. The employer is willing to transfer the money if we make sure that she's gonna be on the flight. After almost two days in the airport, this passenger is going home. Nisa, please um, just help me to rebook the flight. Okay. Tiger Air Transfer E. Okay. Yeah, hopefully there's still availability on the flight. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I just hope she goes back home safely. Yeah, and I'm happy <laughs> that we were able to help her. At AVA's Animal and Plant Quarantine, Tweety, a macaw, is being detained. He could have been exposed to the deadly virus avian influenza or bird flu. You heard it? So he's been staying with AVA officers until he's been tested. Tweety! He's a popular inmate, but not so popular that he won't be put down if he fails the test. I'm preparing the reagents needed to do the quick test that tests for avian influenza. This is the swab from um, the bottom of the cage. It has a bit of 2D poop on it. So we just need to swirl it. This gives us a good indication of um, the health status of 2D. Jan is performing an initial test before sending the samples to a lab for a conclusive answer. There are all sorts of problems that arise with animals in transit. The... Paperwork is king, and animal agents like Lance are key to a smooth transition. Today, he's taking three dogs who have been given a clean bill of health by AVA to the airport. Usually, we try to get to the airport at about three and a half to four hours before flight. Lance's job is to help those family members who are not allowed on the seats have a stress-free flight. We just don't want the animals to wait. We want to get them to the airport, process all the paperwork, and then the animal is settled in, and they're ready to go. These precious pooches face a 20-hour journey to Chicago via Frankfurt. Hey, when the dog leaves, they cry. When the dog arrives, they cry. And you know, they treat the dogs and animals like their children. There's 101 things that can go wrong with animal cargo. But Lance, Singapore's very own Dr. Doolittle, has it covered. I'll take them out, give them a little pet. Bye bye. See you. It's about 15 minutes, so it should be done in another five minutes. It's just pictures to prove that I hand it over to the airline. The dogs are all in good condition, and it's also a proof, and I can send it to the owner as well. But elsewhere, the work is just beginning for Sat's cargo. Tonight, they are particularly busy. It's the night of Singapore's annual Formula One. The Sat's cargo team have the nail-biting task of transporting hundreds of tons of precious cargo to Japan. The buck stops with Jesslyn, who has the toughest job in the airport tonight. as the next F1 race will over this weekend in Japan. On her womanly shoulders rest 240 crates of cargo that would normally be shipped out over seven days. 
She has less than 24 hours to get it onto six scheduled flights to make the race in Japan. The convoy from Trackside is starting to arrive at the cargo transshipment centre. This is one of the problems that we are facing. The taller units can't enter CTC, so we have to pop it from outside. Having the cars stack too tall to enter their warehouse means SATs lose time. Can you go closer? Forking is their only option to get this show on the road. But Jesslyn has another headache. We are supposed to have a transporter to transport um, the, the cargo onto the dolly. So the transporter is not right here. Even the, the cargo is here, we cannot transport it onto the, the dolly. Without the transporter onto which the heavy crates can be rolled fast and taken to the planes, Jesslyn doesn't have a hope of making the scheduled flights. That's why it's coming five minutes time. For the F1, F1. Correct, correct. No, just, just the transporter. Jesslyn has no option but to use manpower. Now we are using men to push instead of transporter. She may have a brave face, but if her team can't get these crates onto the planes, the Japan Grand Prix isn't going to happen. And then, hope on the horizon. The transporter is here. Sats are back in the game. The race is on. This is just the first flight and then we have five other flights to go. While F1 cargo is back on track, Lance's precious cargo has come to a halt. The unthinkable has happened. Human error. These dogs are grounded. So there is a pre-launch in that they will send to the... They never send up. Information that was definitely sent to the airline has not been sent from the airline to cargo. So they never send the FWB. For Lance and the dogs, this is a disaster. No, no, we send morning ready to them. Means they never do anything. Right, okay. We always send to them so, uh, the first thing in the morning. The data is not in the system at the moment. And because of that, the dogs cannot fly. The airline haven't entered the dogs' information into the system. Yeah, they just started the electronic system today. SATs have to do it, and boarding for the flight is already underway. JR is at the customer service counter, Transit Terminal 3. He's running out of vital supplies. How many do we have? We're left with four or six passengers. Passengers love Changi Airport Suites. They will come to the information counter just to grab one. This counter is a busy counter. You must have everything. Babe, JR here. Any news about the suites? But do we have? Okay, uh, who's coming? But yeah, maybe you're gonna get some for us. Okay, thank you. We might get a complaint if you don't have candies. Simple things like that, yeah, we can encounter complaints and we don't want that. Customer complaints are a no-no at this airport. Agents provide all manner of creature comforts to pamper their precious passengers. No more coming, coming. We have blankets, water, bottled water, and sweets all for free. We also have cookies, by the way. Oreos, biscuits. They're here. Good job. Hello. It's not enough. I'm telling you. I'd like to take some sweets. <laughs> okay. Happiness. Animal agent Lance has hit a paperwork snag. He's waiting to see if three dogs can get on a flight to Chicago. But he gets back to hear the magic words from Sats Cargo. OK, we are all done here. Acceptance completed. Time to go. They have to fly. Our job is done. They're safe, they're secure. I give them plenty of water and I'm off. Hi. 
animal and plant quarantine, there is some happy news. How are you? The test results have come back negative. Tweety does not have bird flu. There are plenty of long-awaited cuddles and kisses for him. Hi, Patrick. Has he been like talking and whistling or has he been pretty quiet? Whistling the whole time I was here. Oh, okay. And I think he made, he's a very good friend with um, Hanif now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to shake hands? Good boy. Just this. Woo! Woo! Good job. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> it's all the tricks you know. <laughs> For the staff, it's time to say goodbye to their most talkative inmate. Would you like staying here at the office? Get plenty of food to eat? You want to say bye to your friends? Bye. Bye. I definitely get attached to animals that come here. Uh, I really love animals. Bye. Okay, bye. But obviously home is where the pet's owner is, so they have to go home. Tweety is off home for some proper creature comforts. Sir, move him please, first lane. Meanwhile, passengers are trying to get some of their favourite treats onto flights. Deputy Shift Supervisor Moose deals with bags of all shapes and sizes. A Thai passenger actually brought in a, a kind of um, food item wrapped up with a newspaper and inside was actually a live fish with some um, water in it. You can see the fish is uh, moving in the water. What did you do with the fish? Ah, uh, we have to throw it away because it's liquids. And it's more than 100 ml. Changi bins, as usual, are overflowing. Mus, as usual, is fighting the good fight against waste. Today, he's promoting 100 milliliter bottles. One of the options is actually uh, you can uh, purchase the 100 ml bottle at the Watsons. OK, they can transfer all this in the 100 ml bottles and you can have it with you. Uh, do you remember you have any uh, jar of uh, marmalade? Marmalade? Well, um... Oh. Yeah. That? Ah, kid. This is just not a lot to be on, but because there's some liquids in it. One pot of pesto will be rescued. One option which I can have, I can offer you, whereby we can deliver this to your destination. Yeah. Uh, during, uh, using a speed post delivery. $85? Yeah. It's too expensive. I won't Ah, kid. I don't like throwing people items. If you ask me personally, I would like to save every single item that needs to be thrown away. Thanks a lot. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Sorry about that, yeah? Good to see you. Okay, no thank worries. you. Enjoy your flight. We will. Garlic pesto sauce. It's quite a shame to throw this away. Jesslyn and her team have worked through the night. Two planes have been loaded with Formula One cargo. They're on schedule for Japan's race. But Jesslyn has another problem with an unwrapped and uneven load. You may slide from the pallet dolly, actually. Uh, I think because the load is, is not evenly spread out. The cars are heavy on the front and, and the back one is only strapped down. I can and still... get some beans here. Uh... She's worried that these cars, worth a million Singapore dollars, might fall. The blocks, they want beams. Can we get some from the It doesn't seem like it's stable with the blocks, so we are getting some wooden beams uh, to stabilize it. For duty manager Gerard, brand new car means age old solution. Gerard hopes that common sense, experience, and two planks will rescue the situation. There's only two of these 20 footers, so that the rest of it will be easy. The beams are going in. Gerard is orchestrating every inch of this procedure. The plan works. These cars make it out to the tarmac in one piece.
Minute four. Next time, the annual Hajj pilgrimage leaves from Terminal 3. Please give way, thank you. Most of our family members are already at the gate to wave us goodbye. Passengers keep customer service on their toes. Let's go, let's go, no time. Take a sky train, sky train. Okay, Greta, go Greta. Singapore visa. You guys, Singapore visa. Okay, guys, come stand by. Get ready to close your barricade. Singapore! <laughs> And migration season means more threats from the air. No birds anymore.